Hi guys, uh, in this video we are going to learn about uh, how to deactivate Apex triggers in production. So generally, uh, when, we, when we wanted to deactivate Apex trigger in production means, so we need to deactivate uh, Apex trigger uh, first in sandbox, and then uh, and then we use uh, the chain sets apply into production and then we deactivate the uh, apex triggers in production generally this is the most common uh, use case everybody uses so other than uh, is there any option we have to deactivate uh, apex triggers directly in production instead of uh, using sandbox and chain sets means so there is an option called custom settings okay so by using custom settings we can control the apex trigger uh, functionality like uh, activating or uh, deactivating okay so let's see how we uh, control apex trigger by using custom setting okay so first uh, what is a custom setting so if you go to the let's say if you go to the uh, setup section and you have to search for uh, custom settings here so this is a custom setting. Well, generally custom setting is almost uh, equal to a custom object so where we can uh, store a data in terms of fields so what we need to do first uh, we need to have some object like custom settings in custom settings so for that we need to, we need to click the new button and uh, we need to fill the label as, as well as uh, API name so currently uh, the setting type should be mandatory so uh, so currently the setting type is uh, gray out so by default uh, the setting will be gray out uh, i'll show you how uh, it should be enabled so for this we have to go with uh, setup again and we have to search for uh, schema settings so once you click on schema settings so we got so many options saying that so finally we need to have the uh, option called manage list custom setting type so we need to enable this option first so once you've done this and uh, we need to come back with our uh, custom settings so again we need to click the new button again uh, again we need to create the object So the setting type should be we have to set as a list since we are going to handle, handle the list of records over there and the visibility should be public by default and uh, we have to click save then. So that's it. So right now we have created uh, one custom object. So for object uh, we need to have some uh, fields. Okay, so generally uh, we are going to use a boolean uh, field to control this apex trigger okay so i'm going to create one uh, boolean field now. so boolean field is nothing but uh, a checkbox field so let's say i i mention as uh, is active so by default i am keeping as unchecked and just click on save so right now we have an object and one field in, inside that and uh, we need to create one record uh, for this so for this i need to click the manage so this is the way i need to create i'm going to create one uh, test uh, uh, record here so let's say make active for example and i'm going to click uh, is active with checked okay so right now uh, this object having one record with the name of make active and is uh, uh, is active condition is checked now so let's go back with our uh, object details so currently uh, the object name is test object and that uh, field name is called is active so let's go with and use this uh, details in our apex trigger so certainly we know the apex trigger is right now starting from the for loop in this example trigger 
so right now what I am going to do here I am going to create one map which handle this uh, trigger so for this I need to use the object name and uh, let's see let's see ok we go with the test active and uh, and then we need to get the information of this object generally so right now we have only one record so i'm just uh, say assigning uh, test active equal to this object and uh, get all method i'm just using so when we use this method we get all the uh, records from uh, that uh, uh, test object to test active here and then i'm going to write one uh, if condition here let's say if test active dot size greater than zero and is active dot get so i need to pass get the i need to pass the uh, the record name over here let's say let me open the manage here so and the record name is uh, make active let me copy this one and use it here and then I need to point out uh, that field actually so what is that field we are using uh, for custom setting so we are using uh, is active field so this field so that's it and So we just created this thing and uh, we need to write proper condition here. It's saying that is not. And then we need to return. Then only it has to be written. When this condition getting true, then we have to return this thing. It seems I'm missing some value problem. So yeah that's it guys so right now what we have done here uh, we have uh, created one custom setting to control this uh, apex trigger and we have created one uh, checkbox to control so if this condition gets uh, true then only the next row will uh, happen it will go to the trigger next trigger or else it, it will be stop it here only okay okay so now what we can do here right now uh, this trigger is active and in case if you want to deactivate we simply need to go to the manage and uh, we just need to click on uh, just click to edit and uh, uncheck that's it so we have simply uh, deactivated this trigger so for this uh, you need to deploy this custom setting as well to the production once you deploy this trigger along with this custom setting then you know it uh, whenever you want to deactivate this trigger you simply go to the custom setting in production and just uh, make it unchecked to this is active field then automatically this trigger won't be works so it by the uh, it will works as a deactivate trigger only i hope you all, all guys understand this thing yeah thank you very much